Our lead national correspondent, David Begno, takes us to Paradise, Paradise, California, that is. In fact, a town that is no stranger to adversity. You might remember these pictures. Epicenter of a devastating fire in 2018, the Camp Fire. That was the most deadly wildfire in California state history. And David covered that fire. He recently went back for a story about a treasured companion stolen from that community. He saw how they mobilized together in a way that highlights the character of the people in that part of Northern California. In the foothills north of Sacramento, California, people understand loss in a way many of us never will. They know about big losses because in 2018, a windswept wildfire leveled the landscape, killing 85 people. So here in particular, this little loss became a big deal. So you got out, walked in, got what you needed, and then you come out and the car's gone. Right. I was sure that my truck's been stolen and the immediate need is my cat's in there. Yeah. Susie Heffernan's cat named Dundee was the victim of a crime. A feral cat devoted only to her since she rescued it six years ago. But three weeks ago, her truck was stolen with Dundee inside after a visit yep. to the vet. It was just so quick, off they both went. Mm took it and ran. Yeah. What happened next brought out the best of a community that was obliterated in and around a place called Paradise, California. Susie Heffernan was one of thousands who lost everything to that fire. All the property and a little under 1,200 acres. You know, everything. It's, it's the history in the house and my grandmother's journals and you know, you can't replace, and everybody has that. So losing Dundee is not just a sad story about a stolen cat. It is a story of character in this community. I received a message online that um, the cat might have been spotted in Chico at a homeless camp. Pamela Beasley, who makes it her business to feed feral cats every day at her own expense, became a first responder. And this was like 11, 12 midnight that night. So I went to the homeless camp. I walked through the camp, couldn't find them. The message she received had come from Tara Ramelli. My first intuition was if we could start getting on some very popular sites here in the community, that would be the best bet. Chicka chickies. So I was out on a hike and so I answered my phone and we immediately turned around because um, the thought was to go get Susie. Jocelyn Dunning became a part of the team, too. A team now known as Team Dundee. We all had our own ideas about what we thought happened. Carol so Curtis, a photographer, picked up Susie, who was stranded in the parking lot. Some of us believed perhaps somebody saw the cat, picked it up. But in the process, everybody was out searching. Pam was going back with her connections that she made at the homeless camp. Jocelyn was helping Susie you know, drive around because we were getting calls that possibly it was Dundee. Then the next day, police found the truck, 20 miles from where it was stolen. But Dundee was gone. What was the loss of the cat like? Horrible. His pills and his receipts were in front of him down on the floorboard. He needs those pills. He needs, he needs, you know, to be monitored. I just want to make sure that we got these out. Um, so Tara Ramelli posted a $500 reward, and more people responded. One fellow put on Facebook that he would give $1,000 of his own money. The momentum and even offers of money kept on. Pam kept searching those encampments. Oh, it was scary. It was scary. But we're mountain people. <laughs> we're living... Uh, around people that are very capable and very critical thinkers. And it's just so great to have the support like we do here. And then, four days into their unrelenting search. Phone rang. Saturday night, and stormy. And the woman says, I have your cat. And I was shocked because it wasn't, I think I have your cat. And we jump in the car and there was a person there meeting us at a certain address. It was him? It was him. And he purred to me immediately. 
<laughs> Dundee the cat is home again with Susie. Team Dundee agreed that the extra money that came in should pay for food so Pam could feed more feral cats. The drools. And for this place that survived the deadliest wildfire in California's history, Team Dundee is not going away. Perhaps because it's always been there. Team Dundee probably came about long before Dundee got lost. I mean, there's, there's always going to be certain members of a community that have a purpose for whatever it might be. That is because in this place, the lessons learned are extra special, but the odds of being found or found alive remain rooted in 2018. It's something I remember well as a reporter who covered that fire. And I gotta tell you, most of the town looks like it's been wiped out. You see friends, the takeaway is, it's not about the cat or the car. It is about a community of characters who are examples for all of us of what a community with character looks like. One, two, three, three. 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 Wow, mm. David. Well, first of all, that's one happy cat I can, I can report. Uh, second of all, it's about character. It's also about wisdom. This is a community that knows what it cannot change. It can't go back and stop that fire. But the, here's a problem, the missing cat, that it can affect, it can make a difference. And it did. And like you said, they really were a team before that moment, but that moment gave them an opportunity to display all that character and that teamwork. Tony, just a reminder of loss and how it brings out are better angels. You know, it does. Uh, and David, speaking of uh, assignments, really, that bring out the better part of you, we've got you on this uh, around the country yep. tour of uh, places where you might find a story, surprise city tour is what we call it. You're at an airport. Our eagle-eyed uh, viewers Hence will notice airport, that. Yep. You got a bag, I presume, but you don't know where you're going. I'm here to it's tell you. It's a surprise. You yeah, it's a surprise. You are going to a place where everything is bigger, <laughs> including the stories. The state of Texas. Everything is bigger. Oh, we're going to Texas. You hear Beyonce there. Okay. Don't you hear that Beyonce soundtrack? There. Oh, I like that Beyonce song. <laughs> See, I need to learn, line to learn, uh, learn to line dance to that song. I don't please, know please find okay, Beyonce Texas. for us, right. David. So, <laughs> all right, so now I'm going to go actually check in. <laughs> And then I'll get the ticket, I assume, and that'll tell me where in the state of Texas we're going to. I, I hope you get a city name on there. If the I ticket says song, Texas and no city, don't get on that flight. <laughs> David, <laughs> we are looking forward to what you find. Love Thanks you, my friend. Thanks for the surprise, we'll see, buddy. We'll see you again soon. Love you, buddy.